Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on factorising quadratics. There's going to be a few videos on this topic, uh, but before we get into looking at any example questions, we're going to look at a quick trick to help you with factorising any expression. Uh, so that let's just remind ourselves that a quadratic is an expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So a, b and c are the coefficients of x squared, x, and x to the power 0, which is obviously just 1. Uh, so let's have a look at the three subtypes then. So the first type uh, is where all the terms in the quadratic are positive. So an example might be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now when we factorise this expression, we want to put it into a set of double brackets. So it's going to be x plus something and x plus something in the other bracket. So the numbers that we look for in the brackets are going to have to multiply to give us 6 and add together to give 5. Now if you're not sure why this is, uh, then I recommend you watch our expanding brackets video where we go through the FOIL method uh, because that'll explain why this is the case. Uh, but here the numbers that we're going to look for are two numbers which multiply to give 6 and add together to give 5, so those are 3 and 2. So uh, this is the easiest type of a quadratic expression that you might be faced with, uh, but we'll move on now to look at a more complicated example. So subtype B, let's use a different colour. Subtype B is where B is negative and C is positive. So an example of this type of expression might be x squared minus 10x plus 21. So again, we're going to have to have two sets of brackets here uh, with x in each one. Uh, but this time, uh, we need two numbers which multiply to give 21, but add together to give minus 10. So we're going to need two negative numbers here uh, because a negative times a negative will give us a positive. But when we add two negative numbers together, it's still going to be negative. So it's going to be x minus something in both brackets. Uh, and now we just need to look for the factors of 21. So the factors of 21 that we need are 7 and 3. So minus 7 and minus 3 in this case will add to give minus 10. Uh, so when you expand this bracket out, you should get the quadratic on the left here. So the final type is where c is negative, uh, b is positive. So an example might be x squared plus 3x minus 18. Now here, this is the most complicated type because we need a positive and a negative number uh, because when multiplied this together, the two are still negative, uh, but we have a positive term for, uh, for b. So uh, we're going to have x plus something in one bracket and x minus something in the other bracket. Now the reason this is more complicated is because although it might be easy to spot uh, some factors of 18, uh, we need them to add to give uh, oh sorry, minus 18, we need to add them together to get plus 3. So we need to have plus 6 and minus 3. And now uh, the way you can tell which one is going to be the positive and the negative is if the um, uh, coefficient of x, sorry, that's b, is positive, then the larger number will be positive. If the coefficient of x, so b, is negative, then the larger number, which in this case is 6, would be negative. But here we have a positive term for b, so the positive uh, thing in the bracket will be 6. So these are the three subtypes. Uh, so these are the ways in which you can factorise quadratics. So if you're feeling confident about factorising quadratics, then you can get some practice in with our online exam. So this is available through our revision platform. So here you'll find a load of different questions to have a go at and you'll receive instant feedback, uh, allowing you to work out where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exam. So if you're interested, uh, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.